Kevin Nash has, uh, talked about this a lot, obviously in the 20 something years since this has happened. And he said that losing you from wrestling hurt. And he said that a lot of fans didn't realize how good you were on so many levels. And he said it took about an hour and a half to get dressed up for this parody. And as you mentioned, he said it was his idea. Other folks say it was Terry Taylor's idea. Did you ever have a conversation with Kevin Nash or Terry Taylor about this parody and whose idea it was and how it came to be, or what can you tell us about that? Well, I went to Nash's room after we got back from the arena because I wanted to ask him if it was a personal attack, if I had heat with him, if this was, uh, you know, if this was his way to send to me a, not Arn Anderson, but Marty Lundy, a message, you know, and, and Kevin looked me in the eye and he said, no, no, no. It's just, we're just trying to get heat. We're just, we're working here. And I believe him. I mean, if Kevin Nash has an issue with, with anybody, me included, I'm sure he would just address it directly and man to man. And, and that was it. But I had to ask because it was so personal in the attack. I felt it wasn't, anything standard wrestling it wasn't any and maybe that's why it lasted the test of time there was so overboard but i went to his room did i have a few beers in my hand yes i did you know again i'm not i'm never gonna say well i never drank anything i didn't drink a dozen beers every night after working out during the day and wrestling at night and have a dozen cold beers well of course i did there was probably a couple of nights i had two dozen not the point. The point is don't bring it into the workplace. And, and I didn't, and they shouldn't have, but it is what it is. So I did have that conversation with Kevin, offered him a couple of the beers, which I think he took. Um, and so I left it behind that day when we finished our conversation, I put it behind me. I moved on. That was the end of it. And, you know, if we weren't doing this podcast, it probably wouldn't have entered my mind one way or the other and hasn't for years. Nash has said that, uh, you guys knew what was going to happen beforehand and it wasn't until the wives got involved and they said that you, uh, were made to look like quote, a bunch of boobs, that there was an issue. And he said that apparently Aaron told you that. Nash made you look like a stupid fucking drunk and that the only heat that existed was uh, residual heat from the wives. And he says that the cooler was yours. And when you confronted him later at the hotel and asked, as he said, with quote, with like five beers in his hands, Kevin, why'd you do that? He looked down at your hands and just got in the elevator and you told the story that you went to his room. So whether it's getting in an elevator or the room or whatever, still, uh, Nashville's sort of indicated that, Hey, we were just doing art imitating life, but no heat after you guys talked that day. Did you ever have a conversation with, uh, with Terry Taylor about it at all? Um, it came up before I even knew it was Terry's idea. I don't know when it came up, but it was years later. And I mean, a decade later, maybe. We were sitting around a room. I don't know if it was uh, WrestleMania or, oh, you know what I think it was? It was like when WrestleMania was in Orlando at the stadium and Terry was working down um, for NXT. And those guys came over, obviously, to the show. um, And we're all sitting around a trailer and that came up somehow. I don't know how that came up. Terry looked across the room at me and went, he used to call me Reverend. Because I guess I'd start preaching or whatever the deal was. Preaching, being bitching, I imagine. But uh, he said, uh, yeah, sorry about that, Reverend. That was my bad. And I don't remember what my response even was to him, but I knew what he was talking about. I knew it was his idea then. And, you know, it was a half-ass apology, you know. He would have been one of the guys 
first and foremost back there slapping each other and high fiving, uh, you know, the NWO when it was over. So it was what it was. Um, my wife was insulted more than me because I got a lot thicker skin. She's a regular human being and a pretty damn good one, to be honest with you. Uh, she's got a kind heart. She also knows this business is that, is an entertainment business. Um, she, like me, just couldn't figure out that if they want to get heat on me, is that the only thing they're going to do? You know, is that all they got to use, you know, as a tool? And um, it is what it is. It'll be up to the test of time. You know, fans will tell you that's the one thing I love about wrestling fans. They'll tell you when they love something, and, you know, if they love that, they'll go, why are you getting so emotional, are you? were a badass. You did some rotten things. You broke some people's legs. You broke some people's arms. Five of you guys would scrub some guy's face in the cement. What are you getting upset for? Yeah, those were all wrestling angles, and they were all designed to have that baby face kick your ass when it was time, and it was all meant to drop to draw money. This just looked like a Saturday night off the wall skit just to bury a bunch of guys because maybe some of those guys, not even me, had heat with other members of that group. If you read between the lines. 